<laughs> Dude, is anybody more connected to the pop movement than you? There's um, no one. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not as political as people might want me to be about it. Although I've got some news for you guys that I'd love to share with your listeners slash viewers. Sure. In Missouri, in tw for 2012, there's a chance of getting outright legalization on the ballot. Really? Yeah, skipping over. They're skipping over the medical thing. They just need uh, X number of signatures, and it's not that many. They just need a certain number of signatures to to get it to happen, and they need the signatures by May. So if you're in Missouri, get a hold of like your local normal chapter, uh, you know, N O R N O R M L. It's, that's how Brian's always spelt normal. How many? <laughs> and uh, and and just make sure you find out where you can go because it has to be physical signatures, which is the most fucked up thing in this computer age. People should be able to sign petitions now on their computer. Yeah, online. And, and some do. Like the conservatives get lots of good petitions going online. But for to get on the ballot for legalization in Missouri, I which I would love because there's yeah. a lot of cities in Missouri that I like, and if I got to go there and know that City marijuana was legal. That yeah. is so much fun. Well, you know, marijuana is legal in Denver. Pretty much, yeah. Denver, can't, can't they give you some sort of ticket? They don't. They if don't you're do like shit. blowing it on a, I think it's one of those yards where they blowing can, it on the cop. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm sure you're not supposed to be out there publicly drinking, just like you're not supposed to be out there publicly smoking pot. But then they, but they do not it stopping in Denver. People, at all. people are pretty chill. Yeah, they're not stopping people at all. There's a lot of cities, and and you know, there's 16 states in Washington D.C. that are are medical, but then a lot of cities, it's been you know, kind of qu is it 16 quietly, states now? 16 I think so. States? Yeah, I think it's it's been kind of quietly decriminalized in a lot of places. A lot of those states, though, it's really hard to get a license. It's not as easy as it is in California. Oh yeah, and it's really hard to the 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 whole dispensary system isn't in place, you know. Yeah. And that's the problem currently in California is that the feds are again threatening to cut to to basically close down dispensaries and then the question is well where are the patients because they're seeming they seem to be okay with patients at this point like if you're a medical marijuana patient you should be able to get it but where are the patients going to get it if they close down the dispensaries I guess they're supposed to grow their own or have some sort of yeah, yeah, or, yeah exactly. I think the concern from the law enforcement is that there's a lot of profit being made that is not supposed to be uh, you know, according to the way the law is structured, it's you're not supposed to be able to profit as much as these people are profiting. But the bottom line is, you sh the, that should be the very last thing that law enforcement is devoting its resources to. You know, no one's getting hurt there. Okay, yeah, it's so your 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 all your attention should be devoted to crime. All your attention should be devoted to reckless drivers, drunk drivers, crime, assault, and violent crime associated yeah. with marijuana would yeah. go away exactly. if it was legal. <laughs> yeah, just leave it alone, and uh, I swear everything will be better. It's really simple. You know, there's there's other shit to concentrate on, but I think also uh, that in some cases uh, places need arrests. They need to make arrests, and it's a fucking easy collar. It's not hard. No one's going to shoot you when you're uh, closing down a pot store. You know, you go there, you bring guys who are dressed like they're ready to go to war in Afghanistan, and they fucking go in there with machine guns and they clear everything out and they take everything. And it's crazy, man. You know, the, the ones that uh, they had in L.A. a few years back where they had the guys who were had Blackwater uniforms on. They, had, they were Blackwater guys. They hired mercenaries to go in there and clean up and close down these pot shops. And you're like, what? Those are the weirdest raids. Like in Do you remember that, though? Do you remember yeah. the Blackwater shit? In in Super Jaime, we show two different raids, and uh, and one of the biggest laughs in the movies. Unfortunately, not me speaking. Uh, some somebody that's just a you know a protester advocate that's hanging outside a place that's being raided uh, yells at the guys as they're walking downstairs with boxes full of uh, marijuana and money. Uh, yells at him, "Go bust a meth lab, you pussies." <laughs> <laughs> No so shit, funny. right? Yeah, no yeah. shit. It's so easy. It's an easy collar. It's weak. You, you know, it's wrong. And I'm sure, uh, and a lot of the guys that are involved in doing those things, are, it's again, they're just following orders. They're just like, you know, they're absolutely. Not, that's the I get, <clears throat> I get people sick. in law enforcement more and more saying hey to me and winking at me and saying yeah. I like your work and stuff, and kissing on the lips. A lot of making out. <clears throat> I just, I just will not. <laughs> I, I just, I just draw the line at eating their ass. <laughs> Don't try that line, bro. Yeah. <clears throat> think oh, of the sacrifice. Right. I gotta try it. I just think of asses as being, you know, I just have a very juvenile attitude towards asses. Yeah, make them do a stripper shower before. They I leave. always and I don't want anything in my ass, even even a nice soft tongue. I always say the cops don't get nearly enough credit, and there's a the, there's a divide between the citizens and the police that doesn't have to exist. It's ridiculous. They should be supported, you know, and 
<clears throat> people support troops, but very few people support cops. Well, there's, there's bad cops for sure, but it's a small percentage. We get to see how how good yeah. cops are, though, because like we're usually in situations where it's it's sort of you know, especially you, like where you see a lot of law enforcement that's like kind of it, they're sort of protecting you in, in you know just being out in public and stuff, right? I don't really have cops protecting me when I'm out in public. No, but I mean, when you when they see you, they're like you're a celebrity to them. So you're like, well, the you, last thing their cops are going to do is hassle you. Well, that's true, but they, you know, also when I got pulled over when I wasn't a celebrity, I'm polite. You you, you ask me a question, no sir. You ask me for my license, yeah, I give it true. to you. It's true. You I'm, do everything I'm respectful. Yeah, I've I've gotten out of a few arrest yeah. situations by just being polite. If a cop and knows you're legitimately respectful. You know they appreciate that. You know, it's, look, man, it's a, that's the fucking job. The job is we agree. That guy gets the gun and the fucking flashing lights, and you listen to him. Yes, sir. No, sir. And that that means you're a good citizen and you're not trying to fucking cause any trouble. And in turn, he doesn't you know take advantage of this power that's presented to him by this willingness for people to obey. And he doesn't automatically assume that everybody owes it to him. And that's mm -hmm. the problem with older cops. That's the problem with these white shirt cunts that you see punching people in these Occupy Wall Street crowds. They they think they can punch people. You know, there there's ones, and it's not all of them. It's just a small fraction of them. But they feel like they're better than people. They feel like they've been ordering people around. People have been forced to listen to them so long. They have a complex. They've been involved in law enforcement for 30 years, and you have to fucking listen to them, you know? Yeah. They're bullies. They're bullies, you know? You give people ultimate power, you're going to get ultimate corruption. We all know that. And even though you don't think of that as corruption, that is absolutely corruption. When that guy, that, that guy in that white shirt in the video punches that chick in the face, that's fucking corruption. That is 100% corruption. That's all, or somebody told me that's not a chick, that's actually a very feminine man. Either way... I say it's a chick. <laughs> I say Poor it's a, a chick dude. Chick-like tendencies. Yeah, a very chick-like dude. And the guy punches him right in the face with a very sloppy overhand right, too. It's a really piss-poor technique. I really was very, very upset with this You should make a uh, video of you and... a and, protester correctly? Uh, no, no, I mean, just take that video and then do the play-by-play -play yeah. like you're like you're <laughs> doing it for a fight. Like, who the fuck taught him how to throw that right hand? Yeah, yeah. And for a 102-pound chick, she takes it well. She took it well. It's a weak-ass punch. But, you know, the fact that he thought that he could do that, I don't care what that person said to him, you know. If someone's is, is yelling at you and causing you, calling you names and becoming a problem and you have to arrest them, then you fucking arrest them. You don't have to punch people in the fucking head, you dick. What do you think about the, um, the preponderance of uh, taser incidents and uses of tasers everywhere? It's ridiculous. Not just tasers. How about the flash bombs they're throwing on people? Did you see that shit? They, that was a guy, a guy was a wounded vet. The whole thing is disgusting. It's really disgusting. It's like these cops are, you know, they're forced every day to go out there and try to combat this ever-growing thing that has shows no signs of weakening. In fact, shows uh, signs of gaining momentum and strength. And that's why all these movements are being taken to try to s squash it and to try to suppress it. Because they go, well, we got to stop this now. Because right now it's 30,000 people. What the fuck do we do when it's 300,000 people out there? Guess what? They're going to come through those doors. 300,000 people are going to come through those doors. And they're going to start throwing people out windows you know and i don't think they will i mean it's not violent it hasn't been a violent movement so far mm -hmm, but no. that's what they would do if they had three hundred thousand people so yeah. if you if you think of if you're like mayor bloomberg or if you're you know one of these fucking guys that own some giant hedge fund and you've made billions of dollars just raping people your whole life and then all of a sudden you know you you know, picture what you would do if you were all those people. Yeah. You would think those people are gonna get me. They're gonna come and get they're me. They're gonna storm the gates. Even if they stay nonviolent, these people are never gonna accept that because they're always gonna assume that human nature is always violent. So they're gonna push these people back before it ever gets to a point where they can't control it. And that's why they're they're cl clearing these fucking tents out. That's why they're trying to I guess they had a old library full of books there too. Yeah, and they threw all the books away. What the fuck, man? You're throwing books away? That yeah. should be against the law, okay? Right there? That should be a crime. In this day of a an age of ultimate retardation that we find ourselves in, where people are so fucking dopey that you're throwing books away? God damn, man. You talk about someone who's not working for the greater good of the people cop that's throwing books away yeah for and, know, and all uh, it's the worst and all, and all for the, <laughs> and all in the, in the name of you know the supposed name of public safety oh it's know. so gross well you know that uh chase uh paid the cops 4.6 million dollars made a huge donation to the cops 
Of course. Isn't that ridiculous? Everything, everything behind everything is 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 money now. The money that the these people that are going to try to defeat Obama, the money, the millions and millions that they're raising, that's all it's going to is just trying to win an election. Like it's such a, such a messed up system. People are starving. Those millions of dollars could feed people, and instead they're just putting somebody else in charge who's not who you know because Obama, as much as he seems to try. You know, there's. He's ineffective. Everything's going to be ineffective. Whoever, if he loses, if he wins. I mean, if he wins, I think his next four years could be kind of interesting because he'll kind of have a nothing to fucking lose kind of. Is attitude. that true, though, man? I hope so. You know, I don't buy that anymore because I just haven't seen any evidence whatsoever that he has any power at all. I just, I, I don't, I don't necessarily believe it. I think they, uh, there's a whole group of people that have got him into position, and once those people sit down with him, they explain to him what they would like to get done, and that's what gets done, and that's why Guantanamo Bay is still open. That's but why stuff still slips through the cracks. Like there's no, there's no uh, money interest that wanted to get rid of Don't Ask don't tell and he made that happen yeah that's a bone that he threw people you know yeah is, but that's a you know as that? bones go it's pretty good yeah it's good that good yeah you know what that means that means that gay people are allowed to become hired killers too yay <laughs> the fuck kind of advancement is that that's well ridiculous. but they can you know gay people they you know you it's know, not it's, uh, it's not that i'm and i'm i'm 100 not anti-soldier whatsoever the show i am for the soldiers what i'm not for is the people that tell the soldiers what to do every fucking army needs soldiers every Every nation needs an army because guess what human nature is what it is there's a lot of bad fucking people in the world what makes me sick is when bad people take good soldiers and make them do bad shit and they do that for their own good so it's not that I'm against soldiers I'm a hundred percent for soldiers soldier I'm uh, those are people I understand what I'm not for is the people that put soldiers in situations where these soldiers think they're doing the right thing because they're following orders they think they're doing the right thing because they're going after guys who look like bad guys but the big question never gets answered. What the fuck are you doing there in the first place? You think you're doing the right thing? What the fuck are you doing there in the first place? Are you going to stop another 9-11? Those guys are dead. They're all dead. The guys who did it are dead. This is how you stop it. You don't, don't let that happen again. <laughs> Get everybody <laughs> over here. Fucking put more yeah, soldiers in the streets. Just have everybody watching Jesus. stuff more carefully. Yeah, keep, keep America safe. Make though. soldiers the TSA employees. You just you can't deny the economic uh, re reasons for going over there. You can't deny it. I mean, in the middle of this peak oil crisis, everybody's freaking out about what happens when we run out of oil. Is it possible to run out of oil? What happens if the, the prices skyrocket to the point where we get a massive recession? And so that's the, the the reason why we go over there. We go over there to control the oil. Do we go over there because there's not much left? I mean, what what's really going on? Let me know. <laughs> Do you think that all this is leading up to like the, like the protests, the you know, getting the troops back here? Like all this is just going to lead to something like a new hands across America and a new we are the world. I think is. we're going to have to go through something like that I again. I think it already is there. <laughs> You're worried about having yeah. to go through Hands Across America? The only thing I'm worried about is the We Are the World parodies that stand-up comics will close their acts with. That's what I'm worried about. Kevin Meany. You know that Kevin Meany. I can't over even. Over I, I, I remember Hands Across America, but I don't remember if I did it or not. I remember. I don't think it worked, right? It didn't work. It was fake, and they just edited things together. Like, yeah, it was like, can. wow, look how far it goes. All the way to yeah. the end of the Do you know how many colds I've... were transferred from person to person that way? Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know if I stood somewhere and held hands with two people on a street somewhere or not. I think my uncle you told me I'd it was him. that if I did it. Well, that's what we were talking about. Every yeah. seven years, you get some shitty yeah. files that you that have to a, sort. That's been a while since that happened. I think my uncle yeah, told me but, it was uh, Hands Across but America, but we were caused, in the shower. It shouldn't have caused you that much inconvenience, Brian, as an individual. Yeah, it's not that big a deal, Brian. I think this <laughs> is a little the, bigger the than We Hands Are The Across World America. song. You, the worst is That's the making weird of. that you're in fear of another We Are The World song. <laughs> That's so not what's going on here. What's going on here is some overthrow the government type shit. That's what's going on here. What's going on here is people saying, hey, this system right now doesn't fucking work at all. Just, you know, That's, yeah. This is the only time in our life that I've ever seen this. Never seen anything even remotely close to it. No, every president uh, in my lifetime has raised taxes at, at a point where taxes need to be raised. Yeah, you know, it's never been this crazy. It's never been this. Uh, there's been never been this much discontent. There's never been giant protests all over the world. They have occupied Toronto. Guess what? Toronto's doing great. They're doing awesome. Yeah, it seems. They, right. they have a good economy. They're 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 you know they don't have nearly the problems with unemployment that we have. They're they're fucking doing pretty good up there. A lot better than we're doing, man. But people are still like, fuck it, it's not good enough.